Hello and welcome. We're going to solve this problem together, but first pause the video, try it on your own. Then when you're ready, hit play and we'll solve it together. Okay, it says that the, a customer is comparing two different text message plans at cellular bargains. He wants to find out which plan allows the most text messages for the same cost. Makes sense, right? We want to get the most text messages for the, for, um, right, for the least amount of money possible. We don't want to pay more for text messages. The pay-per-text plan, it charges $10 per month and adds $0.10, 10 cents for each text message. Write a function or equation that models this plan, stating what your, your variables represent. So $10 plus 0 0.10 per month equals our cost, right? So here you would say C is cost. M is, not months, excuse me, uh, is uh, the messages or the texts. Right, and ten dollars is the initial cost. So you pay ten dollars up front, then ten cents for each message you send. You add these things together, and that's your total cost. The frequent text plan is modeled by the graph below. Let's take a look. This says we start at twenty dollars, so it starts at a higher rate. And if I go to this point, it looks like a friendly point. I see that it goes up five dollars. But how many text messages is that? Let's see, forty, eighty. So it's um, here we're going up by twenty. This is sixty. This is a hundred. So for 100 text messages, it cost me $5. So that slope, M, is 5 over 100. That, or that, that's $5 for every 100 text, which is $1 um, for every 20 text. So if, if we look at that, you know, 5, 100, it's 5 cents for every text. So I'm going to say, um, in this case, our cost is equal to $20 up front plus 0 0.05, or 5 cents, for every message you send. Um, how many messages would it result in the same cost per month of the two plans? So all I have to do to solve this is set my two equations equal to each other. We've got 10 plus, I'll write um, 0 0.1 uh, messages. E when does this equal 20, our, our second plan? 20 plus 0 0.05 times the amount of messages. To solve this, I'm going to subtract 10 from both sides. And I'm going to subtract 0 0.05 from both sides at the same time just to save space. Okay, 10s cancel out, 20 minus 10 is 10, these cancel out, and 10.10 .10 minus 0 0.05 is 0 0.05 m, that's an m, and to solve for m I'll just divide by 0 0.05, so 10 divided by 0 0.05, or essentially 10 divided by 1 20th, which equals 10 divided by 1 20th, which equals 10 times 20, right? There are 20 um, 20ths in each one, so it's 10 times 20 or 200. So 200 text messages, both plans will be equal. And if you plug in 200 to both equations, you'll see that this is true. They will be equal, right? Let's just try it real quick. Uh, 0.10 times 200 is what? That's just $20 plus $10, it would be $30. In the other plan, it's 20 plus um, 0 0.05 times 200, or 20th of 200, which is also $10. 20 plus 10 is 30. It would cost the same. After that, of course, uh, the frequent plan is cheaper, which is why it's called frequent plan. The more messages, right, it's only five cents per message, will be cheaper from that point on. So if you're going to send more uh, than 200 text messages, go with the frequent plan. All right, hope this helped.